Alright guys, what's up? And today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to uh, make falling cubes in Cinema 4D. It's very nice looking and simple to do. So uh, normally when you put those together you get a nice outcome. So um, on with the tutorial, what you're going to want to do is obviously open up Cinema 4D um, and make a new project with nothing on there and what I like to do automatically is I like to create a floor and that is just because I know I'm going to be using the floor um, uh, like I don't know everything just looks a lot better with a floor you wouldn't want falling cubes to just be falling in outer space right so you know um, I normally always 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 just make a floor right when I open up Cinema 4D um, so then after that you're gonna obviously want to create an emitter because that's what the cubes are gonna be coming out of and um, what I like to do is I like to just get myself in a nice location uh, with a nice view of the emitter. I like to back out and get up a little. And then I like to move the emitter up because the cubes are going to be falling out of the emitter onto the floor. So once you've got your emitter in place and you've got your camera where you like it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a cube. And after that, it's gonna, you're just going to want to make the size. I like to make... Uh, X, Y, and Z all 25. Well, they're obviously all going to have to be the same if you want a cube. Um, but I like to, to make them 25 because that normally uh, looks looks very nice uh, or perfect size for me. And I like to make a fillet and I, I make mine 0.9 and that's it. Um, and what that does, the fillet makes it uh, less pointy and kind of edgy at the end or all, at the all edges. It makes them a little more round and uh, uh, I guess better looking if you want to say um, you can't really see it because it's in the ground but trust me it looks better <laughs> so after that what you're gonna want to do is you're just gonna want to want to drag the cube and on, onto the emitter until you see a arrow pointing down and that is the only time I'm gonna be saying this in the tutorial in the tutorial um, from now on that's gonna be uh, called creating the cube or whatever you're doing to um, or I can't even explain <laughs> Uh, just drag the cube down onto the emitter until the arrow is pointing down and what that is called is making the cube a child of the emitter and uh, that's what I'm gonna be saying from now on okay that's what I tried to explain before <laughs> alright so once you have the cube a child of the emitter you're gonna go into the emitter settings and make sure that show objects is checked and then once you go along on the timeline here you will see that um, the cubes are coming out of the emitter and if you render it out there's the cubes um, so what you're gonna wanna do now is on the emitter as you can see the start emission is zero and the stop is 150 so down here I'm gonna make the uh, frames I guess 200 uh, just a little bit more than when, when, well actually actually even more because that's just when it stops emitting after that they bounce around on the floor and stuff so I'm just gonna make it 500 I mean there's no there's no harm in however many you have um, so after that you're gonna actually want to make the cube not a child anymore um, that was just to show you that the that it worked and everything just to make sure what you're gonna want to do is click on the cube or you don't have to click on anything you're gonna go up here onto MoGraph and make sure you click on cloner object and here's the part where I have to explain to you guys um, it might sound a little confusing but it doesn't it doesn't matter this is just to so that you know uh, what you're doing um, so what the cloner object is it's a MoGraph object and MoGraph is the thing that makes the the cubes fall onto the ground and have you know like pretty much gravity in in Cinema 4D and MoGraph, uh, the MoGraph tag, which is this, which we're, whatever we're going to be adding, only works on MoGraph objects. So pretty much gravity only works on the MoGraph objects, which are these. Um, so the cloner object pretty much clones a normal object, and then that makes it a MoGraph object. So what you're, what you're going to want to do is go to the cube and drag it and make it a, a child of the cloner object. And then you'll, you'll see three cubes now. What you're going to do here is going to go up back up to the cloner object and go ahead and make the count one. And so pretty much we just made the cube into a, um, into a MoGraph object by cloning it. And we only cloned it once, which leaves it the same, which is what we wanted. So pretty much, you know, that's how you make a MoGraph object. 
If you wanted to make anything else a MoGraph, job, MoGraph object, now you know how. So, what you're going to want to do after that is drag the cloner object and make that a child of the emitter. And so now we have MoGraph settings onto it. And if we go back onto the timeline, you'll see the MoGraph are, are the, the cubes coming out of the emitter again, just like normal. So, after that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go click on the cloner object and go to edit, or not edit, my bad, tags, MoGraph tags, and rigid body. And um, what that did was just pretty much give it gravity and um, added a MoGraph onto it. And what you're going to want to do is control click on that and add it to the floor also. And uh, as you can see, they have two different little things. Um, so that's how it's supposed to be, don't worry. So now the cloner object, which is the cube, and the floor will be interacting with each other. So if we go now, they'll start falling, and the cubes will hit the floor and, you know, move around like in real life, like what they would do. Um, but as you can see, if, if we go back, these, these, they slide around a lot. And that's not what we want. That looks very unrealistic. So what you're going to want to do is go to the floor and click on the rigid body little icon on the right. And we're going to go down here to friction, and I like to change this to 2. That is what I think is pretty perfect, um, for me at least. You guys can make it a little more friction, a little less. Um, but if I go back here, um, as you can see, they're not sliding around nearly as much. And the ones that are flying all over the place are just the ones that, you know, kind of hit the ground weird. You know, like, you know how if you, like, throw a football and it hits the little pointy part and it flies all over the place? So that's just what those ones are they, they're not sliding around so um and that's how it would look in real life so i like to leave it at two um and if you put it like 10 then they're not going to go anywhere they're just going to like pretty much stack up so that's how i like it that's pretty much the tutorial um i'm just going to show you guys i'm going to i'm going to leave the video uh that i made uh earlier asking you guys if you wanted the tutorial a video response and um, I'm gonna show you guys actually how I created that whole scene um, I'm not gonna go through the textures because you guys should know how to do that already but um, I'm just gonna show you how I made this scene so what I did is I made another floor and this is not gonna be like an overlapping of the other floor um, obviously I didn't make it a rigid body because I don't want the cubes to be interacting with this floor this floor is just gonna be uh, used as kinda like a wall and so what you want to do is you want to create the floor and go to your rotation tool and rotate it uh, about 90 degrees or actually yeah 90 degrees 90.2 whatever it's fine and then you're going to want to go to your move tool and just move it back to however far you want it doesn't matter I like it to about here and so if we go here now and let the emitter emit all the cubes and we zoom in here you will see that it's that's pretty much the floor they're all falling onto the floor and then the walls in the background and um, I added one more thing which was a light so you add the light and just drag that up to about here move it over the cubes and then on the light section go to shadow and hit shadow maps soft and zoom back in a little and render it out and as you can see they will have shadows and it'll look very nice um, so that's pretty much it. After that, I actually went to render settings and went to op or not options. I went to effect and I added a global illumination and made the diffuse depth three. And then I added a ambient ambient occlusion and that's it. And then you render it out. Um, obviously, put all the textures you want. Make the the cubes what color you want. The floor, the wall, what color you want. Um, and then put it into any other editing software such as Sony Vegas, add a song, and you know, do what you gotta do. So, pretty much, that's pretty much it, guys. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped. And uh, if it did, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace, guys.